Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Greg here, Rack and Rock Chronicles. Welcome back to our YouTube page. And uh, obviously, we've been putting up video after video after video as much as we can uh, to give you guys more content and show you different products. But today, we have a really, really cool product to show you. Um, this is a first for us. Uh, we've never had a prototype. Uh, or something that hasn't been released to the public yet uh, to be able to bring you. So this is going to be a first impression style video. Um, the Just kind of go over the product. We're actually going to get to use this product this weekend. Um, by the time we, we got it here, we haven't had a chance to actually go out and use it. So um, first impressions video, we're just going to kind of give you the lowdown on it. Make sure you're, you're, you're looking for this uh, once it's uh, out. But um, obviously filming a TV show, cameras are a big part of the equipment we use. Aside from all of the hunting or fishing gear that we use, cameras are obviously extremely important in order to record the footage. Um, and we use obviously cameras like I'm talking into right now, which is a, a, you know, a professional camcorder. Um, we have digital DSLRs, uh, mirrorless cameras, all kinds of cameras. But we also use action or POV cameras, point of view cameras. So whether it's the name brands, which I won't mention. Um, but between all six of us on the team, we all have different types of POV cameras. So we can capture second or third angle type uh, shots for you guys uh, for the show on Carbon TV. So uh, one of our sponsors, Alpen Optics, uh, reached out to me about a week and a half, two weeks ago, and said, hey, we're going to be sending you something, check it out, tell us what you think, use it, you know, what can we change, anything like that. So uh, Alpen Optics has come out, or is coming out with a 4K action cam. Um, now the packaging they sent is not the correct packaging, so we're not even going to show it. Um, the actual on-the-shelf packaging, not what the unit is. But um, this thing, when I opened it, I was like, wow, there's a lot of stuff here. So we're extremely excited to be able to do this video. So here is the Shasta Ridge 4K action cam. And as you can see, it is in their waterproof housing, um, which I will take off so you can kind of see the camera a little bit better. But... Um, this little bad boy right there um, is pretty sweet and it has a ton of features to it. So I'm going to kind of walk through some of them uh, and then we'll go into more after we use the camera so we can actually show you video. Um, so real quick, we'll start with the camera obviously. So similar to most action cams, the power button is on the side. All you're going to do is press it in. You're going to get a little blue light that pops up right here. Okay, that's telling you it's on. Now I'm recording, so you can see me again. But um, so currently it's set to video mode. This is a touch screen. So you can flip through between picture or slow mo, so on and so forth. Um, there must have been a little bit of a charge to the battery uh, already because literally it was charged in probably 10 minutes, fully charged. Um, it does not come with a SD card, so you will need to put uh, an SD card in there. Obviously, because of what we do, we have tons of memory cards. Um, so I do have a 128 uh, gig card in it, and it must be a 10x or faster card in order for it to work with this camera. So uh, on the very top, there's two buttons. Okay, the M is for mode, the circle is to take pictures or start video. So if I push the mode button, it actually allows, gives you an unlock screen. So if the camera's been on and you haven't done anything with it, it will lock the screen so you're not touching buttons or recording when you don't want to record. So that gives you your screen, you have settings, back, play, and camera mode. So we'll go to settings. So Right now it's 4K at 30 frames per second. I can do 4K at 60 frames per second. I can do 2.7K at 30 frames, 1080 at 120, 1080 at 60, 1080 at 30, 720 at 240, 
720 at 120, 720 at 60, 720 at 30. So there is a ton of options, whether you want to shoot slow-mo, all the stuff that you would want from a camera, this camera will do it. Um, so I thought that was pretty good. Um, there's distortion correction, white balance, uh, exposure, video quality, um, all kinds of stuff. Uh, so we'll go back and right now I have it set at 4K 30, which is what we run on our standard cameras uh, for editing purposes. Because obviously when we send stuff up to the network, we dump it down, down to 1080 uh, HD. This way there's no slow loading times if you're watching it on your computer, if you're watching it on your phone. Um, load times become really difficult at 4K. You're just wasting space. So we leave it 4K for me to edit it and then I dump it down once I export it. But uh, it does have a built-in microphone. But what I thought was really cool, so obviously when I brought the uh, camera out, it was in that waterproof case. Okay, on the left side of the camera right here is where your charging port and your SD card goes. Uh, excuse me, your charging port goes. Um, down here on the bottom is where your battery is and your SD card. Now there, you'll see these two little buttons, one there, one there. Okay, that's what opens those doors. Now, the whole purpose was to build this camera as waterproof or water resistant as possible. It is waterproof, it is extremely watertight. So without the case, you can take this into the water. Obviously, it can only be in the water for so long, it's a, a certain depth. Once you go to the waterproof case, now you can go down further in the water and in the water longer. Um, so they really give you best of both worlds. And the biggest thing you have to watch is when you're closing these doors, um, there's like a rubber gasket inside and you have to make sure that it slides underneath uh, in order to get or continue that watertight seal. So camera build, um, weight, everything is right. This is, it, I, I'm super excited to use it. We are going to be using it around water. So uh, that's a big plus. What's nice is as well is without having the waterproof case, there is a mount here. So if you have a tripod, a ground stake, so on and so forth, you can screw this on there and use it. So going back to the waterproof case, once the camera is in there, they made it really easy. They give you big metal buttons on the top for your mode and your camera button and then one big metal button on the side for your power button. Um, so this camera is sealed pretty darn tight. Um, what is cool uh, with all of their mounts, obviously there, there's a camera that's been around for a really long time. And if you do it right, um, you can get that uh, you know, kind of mounting feature to work with just about anything. Um, so very similar, again without mentioning names, <clears throat> as I'm unscrewing the thumb screw here. Okay, screw, I'm sure you're all familiar with it if you have an action cam of any type. Mounting feature, very easy, very similar. Uh, so you have some options when it comes to mounting this. But that's where these guys really changed the setup for what you're paying and what you're getting. So one, you're gonna pay a lot less than what you would pay for those name brand cameras. Um, for what they send you in the box, it's a heck of a deal. So one, you're getting a 4K camera that is Wi-Fi capable, does have an app for your phone, so I can run everything from my phone if I need to. Uh, which does work out really nice if you're in a hunting blind and you have this set out somewhere where you can't reach it. Uh, it also comes with a remote for taking pictures and video. So the remote will do both. Um, and it does come with the nice Velcro straps. So if you want to wear it on a wrist, you want to wear it and put it on your bow, put it on your rifle, put it on your shotgun, put it on your fishing rod, wherever, um, you can run the camera right from that remote. Uh, but you can also do it from your phone if you set it up to the Wi-Fi. Now, one of the coolest things is the amount of accessories that comes with this camera. 
So you have all kinds of different mounts. Here's two of them. Um, I have a Velcro strap put on this one. I've got a cam buckle put on this one. They send you an extra cam buckle. They send you an extra Velcro. Um, they send you a piece that can mount onto something that might have a screw, uh, which I'll show you here in a second. Um, you have your charging cord, you have round bar, round tube mounts, um, you've got extra swivel heads, two different styles, comes with your manual which goes walks you through everything, how to set the app up, how to set the camera up, all of the stuff that you would need to know. But one of the most important pieces, especially for the hunting crowd, or even the fishing crowd. Um, a lot of cameras out there, a lot of guys, a lot of shows have been showing, you know, especially during turkey hunts, the camera at the decoys. Okay, one, you have to be very careful how you set that up so you don't shoot it. Um, two, if you're out fishing, maybe you're bank fishing and you want to have something that kind of gives you the, the water level angle without, you know, leaving a big camera down in the, in the grass or dirt. These guys actually send a ground stake with this camera. Um, so I already have one of the mounts on there, but that piece that I picked up before, if you needed to swivel it and you did not have the waterproof case on it, right here, this mounts to the ground stake. This allows you to adjust it, um, but it was pretty adjustable the way I had it set up. This is exactly how it was when I originally picked it up. So um, it's on the ground stake. <clears throat> you're using your standard screw just line your mounting tabs up so now this could be a second angle third angle and I have this attached to the ground stake I can set this in the ground angle it so it's getting whatever I want in the shot um, and that is a big plus so we'll go further into price after we use it um, but so far Ease of use, and I just realized I didn't take one of my little stickers off here that protects all the stuff from scratching. Um, but ease of use, app, Wi-Fi, 4K, 60 and 30. Um, so that's really, really nice to be able to run 4K slow-mo if I want to. Um, <clears throat> the amount of accessories, the remote that you don't have to purchase separately, uh, comes with some uh, cable ties, uh, comes with a lens cleaner, it comes with some extra sticky pads for these mounts. So these mounts I have right now, this one has Velcro on it, but there's a sticky pad underneath it. Here's one that has the cam lock, um, and I actually have the mounts already in them. So if uh, that looks familiar to anybody, very similar style mount, just buckles in. Uh, what's really cool is I actually have a mount in the rack rig already on the dash that this camera will work to. Um, but, uh, you know, it's literally, the, the book is filled with information. Everything is super easy to understand. Tells you what all came with it, how to work the, uh, the phone app. And let me see if I can pull this up real quick. <clears throat> and my phone is... Blowing, blowing up, but it's called the XDV Pro app, and it's probably not going to connect right now because I don't have the camera on. And of course, it won't let me cancel the setup. But basically, what it looks like, and it just gave me the air uh, Wi-Fi connection over time confirm. <clears throat> so it basically holds all your media in there. Um, if I go to XDV Pro, obviously I haven't used the camera the, yet, but it'll put everything in there for you that you shot on the camera. So, guys, keep very, very close eye because this is going to be released here very, very soon. Um, <clears throat> we really appreciate Alpin giving us the uh, opportunity to do this and work with this camera. Uh, and obviously, we're super excited to actually film with it this weekend. So. Uh, stay tuned and stay tuned to this page and guys we apologize for 
not having an episode last week or this week up on carbon. So if you're following the show, <clears throat> excuse me, with turkey season had just ended, uh, we had a lot of stuff going on in both here in Pennsylvania and in Kansas. So footage was a little laxed. Um, we didn't have enough to, to actually do a 30 minute episode. So I promise you, you will see a new episode next week. And uh, in the meantime, just keep checking back here. Um, we'll talk to you guys soon.